bless all of you. And let me thank everybody who has turned out this morning for this fitness walk. This walk is the beginning of the launch of the campaign for 2024. And I expect that all the regions will all stop you. All of you who have walked today from the starting point to here have done six kilometers of walking. And that should put you in good health and prepare you for the job that we have ahead. We're going to go from door to door, from house to house, from market to market, taxi rank to taxi rank, trotter station, kitchen, chop bar, everywhere, Ghanaians are, we're going to go there and send the message of NDC. It's a long time since I saw King Ayusuba, it's a long time since I heard his, uh, his song, but his message is very instructive. My father, the way you do, it is not fine. The way you do, it is not fine. Every day and every night, money matter. Every day, every night. But that's the beauty of democracy. It affords us every four years the opportunity to make a change. And that opportunity comes on 7th December 2024. I just want to say, that when you have a sickness, the first step towards getting a cure is to diagnose the sickness and know that you are sick. Unfortunately for this group of people in leadership, the MPP, they don't even recognize that Ghana is sick. For somebody to say that there is no hunger, there hasn't been hunger since Akufuado came into government, it means because he's eating peche, and the rest of us are eating pocho. <laughs> he doesn't know that there's hunger in Ghana. But everything has a time. Every dog has its day. And the MPP's day is up on 7 December 2024. I know that Dungwa and Teshi have fishing communities. And all of them are complaining. The way pre-mix was organized in our time. Bonnie, Professor Tamils, your uh, uh, president here, me, a year in Sean affair, neighbor sa pre-mix standing, a fair landing beach committees, near her pre-mix, a kehame, near me, Jackeha, Fishamene, a kind of pre-mix, a keha, chairman, a low women's organizer. Kaka fishermen ne aya he premix ya headdress ahi. Ka oba oba sa fe koni premix ya fishermen ne ada. I just want to talk about two in three initiatives. And I talked about it the, when we went to our Swiss work going in Adenta. The first is the national apprenticeship scheme. As I've said before, not all our children are imbued with the same mental ability. You can have the same children sitting in the same class. When the teacher che teaches, one is able to catch it immediately. And so we think that he's smart, he's knowledgeable, he's intelligent. There's another one who is slow to learn. And so we might do an exam, the sharp one will continue to university and all that. But it doesn't mean that the one who does not catch it very quickly, does not have the talent that God gave him. Take those two, the one you say is slow, and the one who is smart. Put them in an environment where they have to use their hands, and you find that that other one is better able and more skillful than the one who gets A in class. So all our children have a talent that God gave them. So it cannot be that we give free education to one group all the way to university, and yet when the others fall out, they are left to their own fate. Not all of them can go into the TVET centers. And so our strategy would be to introduce the National Apprenticeship Program, so that for those who are not able to continue into tertiary education, they'll be able to go into an apprenticeship and learn a skill with their hands, so that they can also find work. Our economy is in crisis. 
We cannot turn the fortunes of this country round as fast enough if we continue to work only from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Doing it already fine. Some people are doing it already. But there is no policy to adopt the 24-hour economic policy. Because if we incentivize them and they add on additional shifts, even if it's only one shift, if it's even only one additional shift, that will create additional employment for young people. Our unemployment rate is unacceptable. It was just above 8% in 2016. Today is 14.7%. And so we have to deal with the unemployment situation. All those artificial job creation uh, uh, policies have not worked. And so finally, about the election and our constituencies, all of us who are capable must volunteer to train as party agents. So who, wherever you are, if you are an accountant, you are a banker, whatever profession you have, if you are capable, please volunteer. We have to train you. However intelligent you are, if you are not trained in the electoral process, you will not be able to police the poll for us. So if you submit your names, it will be submitted to the elections directorate. We will know the polling station where you vote. So on that day, you are not just going to vote and go back home. You are going to vote and you are going to sit there and protect the ballot. And so you will sit there and protect the ballot for us. And please, none of us is going to sleep on 7th December evening until all the ballots have been counted. I don't want to call any constituency executive and your phone is off. It is not the duty of the elections directorate. It's the duty of the chairman, the vice chairman, the secretary, the organizer, youth organizer, women's organizer, and all the executives to stay awake for 72 hours, you must not sleep until the results are declared. We'll police the poll and make sure that every single vote counts. And so please, let's all gear up for the election. This fitness work has been very good because we don't do a lot of physical activity now. Today, you see young people and they have kidney disease. They have liver disease, they have diabetes. It's because we're all seated, we're not walking. Everywhere we go, we go by car. And so we must do a little physical activity. If you do physical activity, it prevents you from getting hypertension and, and, and diabetes. And those are the things that trigger kidney failure and other uh, sicknesses. So please, let's get active, let's get involved in fitness. And I want to thank all of you who came. 27th July. We are launching the campaign for 2024. <laughs> Launch, there is no sitting down. The campaign is for all of us. It's not for Joshua Alabi, he's the campaign manager. It is not for your constituency campaign task forces. It is not for your regional campaign task forces. It is for every one of you. Any spare time you have, wear your t-shirt. We're going to send you leaflets. And you go from house to house and distribute the leaflets to your neighbors and tell them the message of NDC. That NDC is going to come and solve this economic crisis and create job opportunities for our unemployed youth. We will change the hopeless situation that has been created by this administration. And as I said last week or a week when I did the media encounter, it is not us who are asking for accountability. The people of Ghana are asking us to hold this government and the people who have stolen from the people of Ghana, we should hold them accountable. It is a demand from the people of Ghana that anybody who has misappropriated the people's wealth must be held to account. Anybody who has captured state property illegally must be held to account. And so, 
It is not a threat, as Nanajin said, it is a promise. But let me sound the caution that as we hold them accountable, we will hold our own people to accountable if they do the same thing. So on 27th July, Tamale is the venue. The national campaign is going to be launched in Tamale on 27th July. And so as many of you who can be in attendance, please, you are warmly welcome. The victory of the NDC is coming again, and it starts in Tamale on 27th July. I thank you very much, and God richly bless all of you. Thank you. You want the environment to favor your jobs? You want to make sure you are not sitting at home? You want the crime rate to go down? You want Ghana's economy to improve? Then the NDC is the only choice. So make sure that you are campaigning to make sure nobody stays at home. When you are doing your house to house, don't say it's an MPP house, you won't go in there. Go to every house, every ghetto, every school, every university. Make sure you speak to everyone. Vote for NDC. If they don't know who the candidate is, they should look for the umbrella. Enzo, this is the year for NDC to win. But you and I have to work. And the work starts today. So everybody, that is here, whether you are an executive or not, if you love this country, then the only option is NDC. Chobai! Thank you. God bless you. Putting your faith in John Mahama to come and lead change and rescue our country. God bless you all. God bless you all. Country, from the ravages of the Nana to Dankwa, but we have misrule. They are misgovernance and they are loot to use the loot for state capture. We must stop them and we must stop them with your support. Today's work, you are sending a strong warning to Nana Dudanko and Baumia that you police the ballot, protect the ballot, and ensure a John Dramani Mahama victory. Hey, Zou, yes, I have only one message for you. I hear the MPP and a certain professor have said that the NDC have no record of a social policy or social intervention. Let me remind him that rural electrification, as President Mahama mentioned at Kempiski, is a worthy signature initiative of the NDC, which has changed life and benefited Ghanaians. Hey, Zou, 